holding it down. Cause I'm a long way from home, I don't really know this town, but I know where we're going, and I know one day we'll make it out. So we sing. Wait for me, I just wanna be alone. It's been a long damn day, I can feel it in my soul. So, so tonight I'll take the long way home. So tonight I'll take the long way home. Wait for me, I just wanna be alone. It's Whoever sees this, it subscribes right now. Get free power. Hey, we all need an outlet. What's going on, YouTube? It's Manoli Noxo, and we are back. We are back with our reaction series. So today, today, man, you feel that excitement in the air? No, it's not the electrical currents of power. I'm talking about the one and only Ren. And you guys have been highly, highly requesting this one in the comment section. So we're going to deep dive into this. It's none other than power. But before I get any further, listen, I want to give a quick shout out to that song in the intro. Yes, I am an artist myself. There's a good chance like my breakdowns, but I think about music, you will probably like my music as well. I have an album, Butterfly Effect, charted on iTunes. Very proud of it. You want to support me, support channel directly. I'll put the links to that below. Also, shout out to the Patreon, Patreon fam, guys. Exclusive reactions and content on there. Another great way to support the channel. I will put all links down there. But anyways, anyways, no here for Ren. Step back up to the plate. Let's see what you got. One. Okay. Get it. Uh. Power. Ah. I was wondering what that sample was, what she was singing, but it's power. Obviously, it's been higher frequency, but we talked about this before, and Ren's really a master at this because he handles his own production. I love when you take a vocal sound, right? And you you mess with it in terms of the filters, in terms of the way that it's running. And then you just layer it into the instrumentation. So it then becomes like a natural part of the beat itself. And it's what contributes to the sound and the melody of the beat. So essentially, it's like taking a vocal and turning it into an instrument. And this is another great example of that. And he's kind of using this to kick in with. And I like this bounce, man. Play on drums and that just smooth, soulful guitar. Come on, power. Synchronized swimming right there. These kids don't play my shit. I never had a top ten. Maybe hmm. it's cause I sing about violence and depressions. They say don't blame these kids, just focus on yourself, friend. Well, if they don't like what I'm doing now, then fuck them. Don't trip I Love this vibe. You essentially have two cameras set up on either side of the dash, and he's kind of performing to this one, and then he might switch over to this one, and then there's times when he's performing to that one, and he just changes the angles. Very, like, simple concept in terms of a video, right? And obviously, to start with, we flip the camera towards the front of the car, and then just got that. But what it gives me is this vibe of just, like, moving, like, always kind of progressing. Like, it just adds to the movement and the feel of the sound itself, and what's cool is that... Ren drops in with just a rap delivery that's he's just out in front like he's in attack mode on the beat right now talk your shit man these kids ever play my shit because I, I talk about real stuff but honestly when was this written it says a year ago this was dropped I mean we know he was growing and then obviously late this past year like he talked about in the interview with me is when he really just like blew up and high Ren took off but a lot of kids are playing his shit now that's for sure and I tell you what I'm glad that he stuck with what he believed in the music that he wanted to make talking about his mental health issues talking about all the things that he went through and that he saw because it could have been so easy when you're not getting the plays when you're not getting the attention to swerve and go okay well what's working what's trending let me follow that but he's always stayed true to himself as an independent artist and i think that's one of the reasons why so many people love him today and why we're diving back into his catalog breaking down his stuff about violence and depression they say don't blame these kids, just focus on yourself, friend. Well, if they don't like what I'm doing now, then fuck them. Don't trip high up the ante, learning licks like John Prashanti, smoking spliffs and popping can. Learning licks like John Prashanti, shout out to the Red Hot Chili Peppers, baby, but also like playing a guitar lick. So he's learning these licks, like he's he's going forward with the licks and everything that it goes to in his life, but also like literally because he did learn guitar and we know he's a super talented musician. Nice double right there. Don't trip high up the ante, learning licks like John Prashanti, smoking spliffs and popping candy, hmm. idolizing Sid and Nancy, woo, rock and roll in my soul. Idolizing Sid and Nancy? All right, I got a, I got a question for chat, those of you who know uh, Sid Vicious, right? Sex Pistols days. Do you think that Sid killed Nancy? I mean, there was a whole film on this. Wasn't Gary, Gary Oldman was in it. Wow, we're going back, man. But anyways, uh, Sid and Nancy days. Comment your theory down below. Some people say it was the um, 
the hell was his name? I'll never forget his name because it was like Rockets Red Glare. That's right, based off of the uh, the national anthem. That's why I always remember the bodyguard's name. People say it was the uh, the bodyguard that killed her. But yeah, I don't know. Anyways, we're going off on tangents. Let's get back to our boy. Do they now then fuck them? Don't trip high up the ante. Learning licks like John Prashanti. Smoking spliffs and popping candy. Idolizing Sid and Nancy. Woo! Rock and roll in my soul. Bumping, knocking cold. On the dole. Fish and chips what? and game consoles. Council house. And Fish and chips, game consoles, and Nat King Cole. That's all you need in your life. I mean, you just mix that into a melting pot and woof. You get the traveling Shakespearean bard known as Ren. My soul bumping, Nat King Cole. Nice. Old fish and chips and games consoles, council house and violent flow. But life went sweet at home. Mom and dad took a trip and they split shalom. What will be, will be, but. Mom and dad took a trip and they split shalom. And it's almost said kind of ironically, like shalom, like peace, like whatever. It is what it is. Makes me think of Spanish. Lo que será, será. What will be, will be. And uh, yeah, that hits differently as a as a child of divorce myself and going through that and, and watching my parents split. Mm, yeah. But life went sweet at home. Mama and dad took a trip and they split shalom. What will be? Life ain't sweet at home, which just calls back to when he was smoking spliffs and popping candy. Oh, that's clever. And violent flow. But life went sweet at home. Mama and dad took a trip and they split shalom. What will be, will be. But me, I hate to see my mom alone. Late night crying, get so high to try to silence sounds of fighting. Through the walls, I heard love dying. So I focused on my... Wow. That's a heavy line. And again, that just hits a little different. He tried to get high, so he didn't have to focus on the fighting through the walls. But the sounds of love dying. It's a very poetic sentiment tragic as well through the walls i heard love dying so i focused on my nice that's what it was i focused on my now let's go back let's go back that's really dope because power has now taken a new sentiment for me and a new meeting because for him his power is in his talent and his creativity into his music that's what he focused on Right, to use that to help him deal with coming out of the council estate, right? Deal with his parents' divorce, deal with, you know, coming up poorer and, and not having the same opportunity and all this like white noise and him struggling, right? It's the power that he finds within the music and, and could also be like literally turning on the power to the music and starting to play and just vibing out. Man, love that. Just a great way to kind of bring it all around now with the hook and just make it make sense in a different light. Now let's go back. Let's go back. These kids don't play my shit, I never had a gold plot. My style is old school, but I swear this ain't a throwback. I put Let's go back. My style is old school. I swear this ain't a throwback. Like it could be going back in time, but also he repeated the same lines. These kids don't play my shit for the second verse and then progressed it. Very clever little sort of, let's call it like a double entendre on like, let's go back. Cause you think he's just saying that as an ad lib, but really he proceeds to go back and then shout out throwbacks. The gold plot. My style is old school, but I swear this ain't a throwback. I put my visions in. You hear that? What you want is, whoa. That's Ren. But I love how he's, again, taking the vocals and cake them into the instrumentation so it's a part of the verse itself. It's not just playing on the hook. My style is old school, but I swear this ain't a throwback. What is that higher? Is, did he find, like, just a really high-pitched note? And he frequents that on the guitar. I'm not sure where he got that or if he was messing with it. And like, sometimes I, like, will play sounds in reverse. And you get, like, a really cool, like, warbly sound and vibe to them. I never had a gold plot. My style is old school, but... I don't know what it is sliding. I this ain't a throwback. I put my visions into rhythms on a dope track. To understand the place I'm coming from, let's go back. When I was 16, I was a sick teen. I was a victim of my head. I was just 16, up in the kitchen, racking up lines till my nose bled. Nice. 16. 16. In my head. Sorry, 16. 16. Victim, but the way he said victim to make that fit in with the rhyme scheme. So we went one, two, one, two, one, two. Those are the internal schemes that we talked about. He likes to do. And then in my head, that's the external, the B rhyme scheme. So we went internal, 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 external. And then he comes back with internal, internal to external. Very cool. Victim of my head. I was just 16 up in the kitchen, racking up lines till my nose bled. Save. 16 and then the Oh, in kitchen, kitchen, victim, 16. I love the way that he just like bent rhymed all that. I was just 16 up in the kitchen, racking up lines till my nose bled. Mm. 16 in an affliction, in an addiction with my... 
could be racking up lines like writing his lines because he's working on his power his music but also obviously cocaine kitchen racking up lines till my nose bled 16 in an affliction in an addiction with my dread i was just 16 i was quite sick then i was a prick then i was a pleb but Wow, that was dope. Addiction, sick then, 16. So he went, I think he had like four or five internal schemes before he came back to the external there. Up in the kitchen, racking up lines till my nose bled. Ready? 16 in an affliction, in an addiction with my dread. I was just 16. I right. Was quite Sorry, one, two, three. Sorry, I didn't hear dread. So he went three internals to the external. Then I was a prick, then I was a pleb, but. Nice. Fuck it. We're all misguided individuals, life can suck it. My cop ain't half full, man. I'm feeling off the whole. Man, that's really cool. Da 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 da. Pause. Fuck it. Da 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 da. Pause. Bucket. Love that flow that he found. Right, man. These are some of my favorite flows I heard from Ren on this. Bucket. I'll drink my tears so I can drown my sorrow. Sing like I might die tomorrow. Live for the butter, 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 butter. No, for no, I go. I'll drink my tears so I can drown my sorrows. You know the saying, drowning in your sorrows? Well, he's taking an idiom, like a, a common phrase and saying, and he's interpreting it literally, and he's got a smooth double right there. Like, he's drinking it down. It could be like drinking alcohol, like trying to wash them away, or literally makes you think of like drinking his tears and then AKA drowning in your, sorrow, in your sorrows. Clever wordplay. Sorrow, sing like I might die tomorrow. Live for the butter, 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 butter. No for no, I go for broke on every single song I wrote. And every single song I write brings freedom to my weary mind. A nice. healing that you'll only find inside an intricate design of kicks mm. and snares and flat bass lines. I flip the script until I find my... Nice. That's the key line right there, carrying it back into the hook. I flipped the script because I've taken all these negatives and then I've poured it into these dope beats. I've poured it into these rhyme schemes, these intricate lines, and this is how I rise up above it all and I empower myself through it. It is what it is. I focus on my... That was really cool. I caught the dude next to him mouthing it as well, his lyrics, man. They got a nice little uh, natural chemistry on camera together. It is what it is. Look at him. He's mouthing on the right. I focus on my... Oh, my. Yeah. Now run the track. Run the track. I'm going to do the Macarena. Why not? Flip the pizza. Put it back. Yes. Oh, he's playing in the drums. Uh, power. Get it. I like that. Again, very simple video. It's not like you need a huge budget to put these together, but where he gets points for is just coming up with a creative way to do something a little bit differently. Right, than just a standard video performance. And like I said, man, that beat, I, I am in love with that beat and the production on that, just the plays on power and the higher frequency on that. But then it comes through with just some really dope flows and approaches to this beat. Some of these faster sequences and schemes, we talked about the internal to external schemes, but I really love just the pockets that he found on this. It was just smooth like butter on that, man. Empower yourself. Ren, you were Noxo certified. Hope you guys liked today's video. Listen, if you're here at the end, obviously enjoying the content. Do me a huge... Yeah. Hope you guys liked today's video. Listen, if you're here at the end, obviously enjoying the content. Do me a huge, huge favor. Support the channel directly. Subscribe, notifications on. I can't tell you how much it means. It really does support me. It goes a long way. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay positive. It's one only Noxo. You know, I'll catch you again.